Hey there, so I just want to do a quick video of my uh, transmission oil cooler setup that I have here for my Toyota Tacoma. This is the TRD Off-Road Edition. The tow package, uh, what, it, what it entails is it just has an additional cooler for the transmission. Um, and if you have a, a uh, off-road with tow package, you'll notice that here on the front, it has a small radiator uh, that's about, about right here. That's, I think two or three inches high about an inch thick um, and about as wide as this but the uh, the problem that I have with that cooler is it doesn't cool the oil enough here in the Texas heat uh, I know Arizona gets pretty hot basically in the desert anywhere that's pretty hot during the summer uh, so what I did to solve that problem is I went with this kit right here this is from long it's a true cool 4589 um, this is eight. It's a eight this way by eleven this way by one and a half inches thick. Um, it is. It does have a. I think it's seven or nine inch electric fan in here. That if in the event that I need to use it, and I have used it before, uh, the the ambient temperature is too hot, which here in, in the Texas Panhandle can get to one hundred and ten degrees Fahrenheit during the summer. Uh, this fan will help pull and it's a it's a puller fan so it'll help pull more air than what the clutch fan can do on that side so that's the purpose of this fan um, anyways so this the oil comes from the transmission pump or I guess the torque converter from this side this is the inlet um, and it pushes the oil up out this way and I decided to go this way this setup because I don't want the oil coming from here and then dropping down because most of the you could have issues with uh, air pockets sticking on this side so what i wanted to do is fill this cooler completely by having oil come from the bottom and push itself up to the top i have taken this um truck to colorado where it was i think zero degrees earlier this year and i didn't have any problems with keeping the oil uh, warm so i have i have used this in zero degree weather and I have recently used this cooler at 106 degree ambient temperature. And the highest that I've seen on this cooler, or I guess at the pan has been 165, 167 degrees at the pan. Uh, the torque converter will actually get hotter because um, if you know a little bit about torque converters, they create a lot of heat as they're generating torque. So the hottest I've seen the torque converter with this uh, system installed has been 180 one under 185 degrees fahrenheit so that's acceptable because as the oil comes from the torque converter uh, it goes through this so this cooler has seen probably 180 ish degrees degree fahrenheit and it's handle without problems it's able to keep the uh the pan at 160 from the factory and this is just about any other vehicle on the mar market um as when the oil is coming from the transmission located on the back it comes to your Another form of cooling it comes to your um, engine radiator cooler. There is a small tank. I think it's a copper tank inside this plastic uh, here on the opposite side of where the coolant comes from the engine. There is a, a built-in cooler in here. Um, and that's how your transmission is able to cool on most of the vehicles. And what I did, I bypassed that system. This top hose here is where the oil from the transmission would come. And then there's that other one way down there. You can kind of see a hose clamp. Uh, this one, that's where the cooler oil would come out. And then it would come to the secondary um, OEM auxiliary oil cooler that was sitting down here. And that was still not enough. So during the summer uh, last year, part, I noticed uh, 200 degrees at the pan. The torque converter was operating at around 215 degrees with that OEM setup. So I didn't like it because you're shortening the life of your transmission and if you haven't replaced or fixed a transmission it can and it will get expensive so by doing this setup i am fixing that first problem the second problem that um, it's known on toyota's and few other vehicles was the third generation toyota 4runners is the infamous milkshake and over time the uh, the, the cooler that's inside your radiator will i guess corrode or the, the cooler eats the uh the engine coolant eats the uh, copper whatever material that's inside here it will eat it and it will contaminate 
your oil ink so let me go back to the temperature um a lot of people on facebook were concerned that the temperature during the winter it wouldn't allow this cooler to um warm up the the transmission oil faster and during the summer it would actually overheat the transmission oil cooler and that has been a um i've actually been able to confirm that during winter because i have bypassed the the oil cooler on the radiator it actually helps the oil get warm quicker uh during the winter so for example we had uh, several days at below uh, freezing at 20 degrees fahrenheit this cooler helped the transmission get to 100 degrees the oil get to 100 degrees within 15 minutes where before when i had you know everything was stuck it would get about 30 minutes to get the oil back to 100 up to 100 degrees so the quicker you're able to get the oil to not operating temperatures but warm enough uh the less strain you're putting on your transmission the clutches especially uh so this has helped not only keep the oil cooler but it has actually helped the oil get warmer during winter another cool little thing that i did that doesn't come from the factory is i added an oil filter this oil filter you can kind of see it's that shiny silver thing way down there um, it doesn't come like that from the factory very few vehicles actually come with an oil filter for the transmission um, i'll show you here how it looks like so it looks like similar to this this filter here is for my power steering which it'll be on a separate video but i'm just showing you how it looks i put this filter on on the inlet i guess before it comes to the cooler reason behind it is if i can keep the cooler clean by putting the filter before it enters the cooler i can have the cooler operating at its uh best because then i wouldn't have accumulations inside the little grooves and i don't know if you can see it but there's little grooves in there that actually uh the oil twists and turn so how did i mount this cooler um th when you get this kit it actually has ziploc ties that you can mount this against your condenser um, I don't recommend putting it there because of two reasons. Your first is you are whenever the condenser is on, your AC is on, this creates a lot of heat. So you're, tr you're not cooling this system. You're just uh, adding heat to this cooler. Uh, the second is you would have to put that zip tie, I guess, through your condenser and out to your radiator on this other side to put it. And it would be a pain actually because you would have to remove this um, fan shroud over here so what i did is i built a small bracket this is an aluminum bracket that i got at home depot use the factory mount over here i had to drill a hole here to mount it horizontally um this hole over here it was actually factory this is where the factory oem auxiliary oil cooler was mounted to so i used this one i used a couple spacers so i could clear away for the electric fan on here so there without this fan there's probably about a three inch gap over here and that is perfect because i am not transferring heat from the condenser over to this cooler and i am able to still give plenty of air in here you know an air gap so your clutch fan is still able to perform at its best this is a 3 8 inside diameter hose it is a transmission type hose do not use anything cheaper because you will probably scrub your vehicle or whatever you you're doing so you might be questioning how i am um keeping track of the temperature set temperature of the transmission um if you don't know what this is this is an ultra gauge that i got i'll put the link in the description to where i got this in the exact model but so the first reading um where's my finger the first reading tc that stands for torque converter right now it's at 91 degrees fahrenheit the transmission oil pan which is pan is 191.4 anyways this this is how i monitor my temperature uh this is torque converter pan engine temperature ecm voltage and then engine rpm miles per hour instant mpg and the average mpg and then when i don't want to read all of that i have another it's basically the same thing except this one it's got a little heartbeat over here that tells me that scarlet my truck's name is alive so there you have it if you have any questions about my setup over here i uh, do leave it in the comment section and i will make sure to link or leave uh product descriptions to where you can get these stuff the hoses uh, your hose clamp this is actually good quality hose clamp uh, the 
radiator cooler, the radiator fan, and the oil filter. So I'll leave all of those in the description for you. Also, you can follow me on Instagram at yo 5 food I have pictures of uh, this setup. And if you have any questions there, I can also help you answer those questions. So thanks for watching. Have a nice day.